whey protein is the best way for gurus, gurus, to scam noobs out of their mom's cash. What's up world, it's Brett here. I'm about to do a video on is whey protein good for weight loss? Whey protein is good for the exact opposite. It's what a football player would be using to put on weight, to gain weight. The only way that whey protein is effective for weight loss is if you're calorie restricting. So if you're substituting meals with a 120 calorie whey protein shake, yeah, it's going to help you lose weight. But restricting is not the answer. No one ever loses weight long term by restricting their calories. They always end up binging out. They bonk trying to go low calorie and then binge out. So you'll just see people on these high protein, high fat diets, their weight will just be fluctuating up, down, up, down, depending on how strict they're being with their calorie deficits. So long term, whey protein is a terrible choice for weight loss. Side effects of using animal proteins in your diet far outweighs any short term weight loss that you might achieve. Using whey protein is going to burden your kidneys, it's going to burden your liver. People who consume high animal protein diets are way more likely to get kidney stones, kidney cancer. So it doesn't matter what phase of life you're in, male, female, child, elderly, animal proteins are not the way to go. People who consume milk proteins are way more likely to develop cancer. Men, way more likely to have prostate cancer. Women, way more likely to develop breast cancer. Children who consume milk protein are way more likely to develop, to develop all types of cancer later in life. So anyone who's recommending uh, animal protein for any, for any reason, whether it's weight loss or building muscle, you know, do not listen to them. They do not know what the fuck they're talking about. They're trying to con some noobs into spending their mom's cash. The clearest red flag that you're gonna see when consuming whey protein is the gas that it's gonna give you. You're gonna be farting all day long, it's disgusting. You're gonna feel bloated. How could anything that's healthy or natural for you to be eating bloat you like that? If you think you're sourcing a high quality whey protein, that's a freaking joke. Oh, you're getting organic. The cows are being grass fed. Oh, my whey protein is undenatured. Well, all animal proteins are acidic to the body. You're not gonna be able to escape these side effects that I'm talking about when consuming whey protein. There's a study out that pits soy protein users versus milk protein users with the exact same caloric intake and the exact same exercise schedule and the milk protein users put on weight over the three months that they're followed whereas the soy protein users actually lose weight. Whey protein is the biggest scam and ripoff in the health and fitness industries. Between the milk industries and the fitness industries, the protein supplement manufacturers and all the fitness gurus promoting whey protein just because it's a super lightweight product that's easily shippable with super high margins. You know, over the last 50, 70 years, whey protein has been the go-to way for people to make millions. All you gotta do is get on steroids, tell everyone you're full natty, and then sell them whey protein and say, I just eat, I just eat healthy and supplement with whey protein. But what they don't realize is how harmful it is to be promoting milk proteins for the masses. You know, this is just giving people cancer, making people overweight. You know, look at the average 50, 60 year old, you know, they're fat as hell. And what are they eating? They're eating a high protein, high fat diet. You know, back when I was in college, me and my roommates, we had some chocolate whey protein sitting right on top of our fridge. And, you know, we drink that shit for breakfast. We drink that after 
we'd exercise whatever it was you know we didn't know better and you know now i really regret that because that did a lot of damage on my body it put me into a overweight position where you know uh finding this whole food vegan lifestyle really saved my life you know i've dropped 55 60 pounds you don't have to be supporting one of the cruelest industries in the world which is the dairy industry you know you these vegetarians think that oh you know i'm not killing any animals but just look into it i don't want to go into it now but the dairy industry is you know one of the cruelest industries on the face of the earth you know you don't want to be supporting that and when you're buying whey you're essentially giving the dairy industry money for their waste way up until the 1930s was a waste of the dairy industry they just throw it away but you know some guy goes oh this is this is helpful for gaining weight for helping people gain weight you know whey protein is what they give cancer patients to keep weight on them you know they don't give it to people to lose weight they give it to cancer patients so that they don't get so critically underweight that they're at risk to die people are using whey just like any other stimulant you wouldn't recommend cigarettes to someone to lose weight or cocaine to someone to lose weight because oh it's gonna curb off your hunger you aren't gonna be as hungry if you're smoking cigarettes or you're not gonna be as hungry if you're doing hard drugs someone might say calorie restriction is tied to living a long life but it's really the restriction of animal products when you're eating less calories you're eating less animal proteins and animal fats and that's what you want to stay away from to live a long healthy life I feel like just making a video about protein is perpetrating the protein myth the simple truth is this you don't need to be supplementing any proteins into your diet to be healthy vegans get just as much protein as meat eaters if you don't believe me check the description down below i'm backing up all the facts that i state in this video with links to scientific studies so if you're attached to the idea of gaining weight by using a protein supplement choose a plant-based protein supplement if you're attached to the idea of using a protein supplement to substitute your meals you know, use a plant-based protein source. There's so many options available. And please, love yourself more than giving yourself cancer, trying to lose weight or gain weight. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll have some more content coming to you soon.